I have the good fortune to be speaking with Dr. E. Haliakala, Hugh Len. And believe me, it took a little practice before I could get that first name right. But let me welcome him to this interview. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Great pleasure. Now, I've only had the opportunity to read a little about you, but what I've read moves into the area of what some might call miracles. Would that be a fair kind of statement to make? What kind of miracles are you talking about? I heard at one point or read about a group of people in a facility that were healed of all that ailed them. Uh, all at once, without you even visiting them, and yet it was your influence that created that result. It's only about being 100% responsible. The question is, what is going on in me that I'm experiencing whatever, and being responsible for it? And so if I had the experience of being the presence of where I experienced somebody being ill, what's going on in me that I can let that go? And then letting it go in me, and then let's go in them, that, and yet that is an amazing thing to do. That is a, it's been said by many, uh, it's been said by avatars throughout history that we are all capable of that. And yet attaining that seems something that most of us miss on it's, a day-by-day -day basis. It's very easy. It only requires you being 100% responsible. It requires you to be willing to know that any problem that you experience is, a, is in you, or more specifically in the subconscious, or more specifically what Shakespeare called it's a four bemoan moan grievances for long, and it's just a memory replaying. So if I erase it in me, I'll erase it in everything around me. And if I do that, if I come in peace, everybody, think, everybody else and everything else will be peaceful. But if in peace begins with me. There's a lot of people who are saying similar things at the moment about about uh, the first healing that needs to happen is in ourselves, and then all of the problems of the world yeah. will go away. Is that is that something you ascribe um, to? And the, heal, I, the healing thing is kind of something I don't usually say. It's more like problem solving. What is going on in what what is I'm experiencing as a problem in me, and if I'm willing to be 100% responsible. And there's a way, there's a process called open opponent that gets, can be erased. A memory can be erased, taking it back to zero, taking it back to nothing, or Shakespeare calls blank. And once I'm there, then inspiration comes through me, inspiration comes through everything else. Is that God? What is God? Well, that's an enormous question, but I get to ask the questions today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's love. Love? Many would describe that as God. Let them do that. I'm just going to describe it as love. Mm. And as I say, many avatars have said similar things, but you're saying now it's a simple thing. Yeah. So, is this something that I or anyone can put into practice? Mm. The Ho'oponopono is a, a specific set of things that people can put into practice in well, order. Not so much a specific set, set of things, but one has to be 100% responsible. One has to say, hey, something's going on. It's not. That's not I'm in the presence of a schizophrenic person. That person's a holy, complete, perfect already. What's going on in me that I see that imperfection? And it's, it's, a, it's a data reclaim. The whole universe is run by data. So the data is me is saying that there's something wrong with the person when actually the data is in me and I get to make amends of that. And it's called problem solving. I can ask the I am or love in me to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and have it erased. So when you call it problem solving, is that also to do with the baseball cap that yeah. says, don't take me too seriously, don't, take me, don't think I'm too smart, I'm just another person? I'm, I'm, I'm a person here on this earth, and my only purpose for being here on this earth is to make amends for these errors. I'm not here to do anything else. I'm only here to say, oh, if I see Mary Curler there and there's something about her I don't like, I know it's a memory in me, and I need to take responsibility for it. Does this step out to such a thing as there was a, a man who killed a lot of people in Tasmania several years ago, a man called Martin Bright, and he went mad as far as we could tell, shot a lot of people, and is now in prison and 
supposedly not recovering particularly well. Taking 100% responsibility would say that I am responsible for that. No, I am responsible for the memory of that. I am responsible right. for the data in me. So if I were, if, if he were assigned to me, which I'm, I'm not here to do any of that, but if I had a, if he were part of my caseload, then I would ask myself, what's going on in me that he is in my presence? What's going on in me that he is, I'm experiencing him, and I can let that go. And if I let that go, he'll be fine. The, the idea is the prisons won't do any of that sort of stuff. Psychiatric treatment, massage therapists, because ultimately, if, if like I'm talking to you, before I talk to you, I've been working on my whatever ties I have with you. What's going on in me that I have ties with you and your family, relatives, and ancestors, with this tree, with the land? I'm only here to make amends. That's my only purpose for existing. Something I need to take care of. So I'm only here in, on, in this existence to erase the data in me that I see as problems. When I saw that about healers, that uh, essentially they're people who've created more problems in Absolutely. the past and yeah. so they're back to um, oh, yeah. to be paid for healing this time. Well, <laughs> <laughs> could be, maybe. I'm not here to get paid, I'm here to be free. So if I'm, I can get to that point where I'm memory free, then what happens to me, I get inspired and everything around me throughout the whole cosmos gets inspired. They get their own information and they get their own ability to solve problems. And, but, but it begins with me. It's a beautiful concept. It works too. That's good. Yeah, and it's easy to do. For example, um, as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm saying to myself, mentally, I love you. So Jesus said, love your enemy. So my only enemy are what Shakespeare called the rebel powers in me, which are memories we claim. And I get to fall in love with you. Like with you, I get to call whatever connection time that you have shown up in my life that I need to make an answer, I'm willing to do that. Yeah. Do we have any that are obvious? Um, <laughs> what happens is that most people don't realize that the conscious mind is only aware of 15 to 14 bits of information, but the subconscious 11 million per second. Mm -hmm. So we're clueless. We have no idea. There's nobody on the earth that knows anything. We're all clueless. So we're only here to erase. And since there's a part of us already knows what the problem is, well, I'm going to make it feel Will you show me a little of of what Ho'oponopono yeah. does? Yeah. So for me, before seeing you, before coming here, I would say to myself, what, what, what data, what memories are going in me that I'm here? What is it that I need to make a man for? And I simply say to the data, I love you. Thank you. So there are a variety of ways to begin the problem-solving process. But it's about love, appealing to love to erase the data in me that I experience as problems. I love you. Thank you. Um, ginger snaps. Yeah, that's why I brought some. I'm going to. Um, we need to share ginger snaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's very simple to do, and so. This is the, the, the nice thing about this is that you, the, the idea is to come as a little town, so to be open to whatever comes up as a way of cleaning. So this is a cleaning process. I'm going to let you open it. Thank you. Yeah, and the process is about loving your enemies. And your enemies are only your memories in you. And so please. Yeah. So this is about problem solving. So it's about my taking 100% responsibility, responsibility and all I have to do is eat it. It's easy to do. You know, watch me. That's it. So you're eating the problem? No, I'm eating the information that will release the problem. I'm, in, I'm eating love. This is love I'm eating. I'm saying to love, I'm, I'm sorry for whatever is then I'm going to have some too. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for whatever's going on in me, and love is the only thing that can transform. <laughs>